tonight with a uh, Fernando bass guitar, four string bass. Uh, looks familiar, right? Like a uh, stingray. <laughs> uh, I started already, but I decided, let me make a little uh, video of this. This one needs a super duper, needs a super duper cleanup job. <laughs> which I sprayed a little lubricant and cleaner on here already to get the grit off. I gotta take these out. Take the knobs off, clean the electronics, but I want to get the initial cleaning in real quick before I remove that stuff so I'm not handling it. And just spreading it around that way. I like to get our initial cleaning. Doing this one handed, holding the camera with the other. I guess I could set it in my tripod. It's gonna look a lot nicer once I clean it real good. Already looking better. Of course, this uh, fingerboard needs a serious cleaning. Frets need a good polishing. Some divots worn out, but not too bad. I'm going to clean them up and uh, make it look a lot better. Need to open up the electronics. He's telling me it's phasing out. I'll be playing it and suddenly it gets lower and lower and then it'll cut out. Sounds like some wiring issues there, so uh, we'll dig into that. So stay tuned and uh, I'll be right back. That board certainly looks a lot better. Nice and clean now. That's look a lot better. A little more cleaning, a little more polishing. They'll be uh, looking like mirrors again. That's not cleaned up nice. Body cleaned up pretty good. Where'd it go? Got the strings back on. Frets are uh, final polished. Fretboard's nice and clean. Body's nice and clean right now. And uh, I just raised the neck a little bit with a shim. It 
it was so low and the saddles could not go any lower. They were slammed to the deck, so I raised, raised it by shim. I got correct string height now, and I'm just checking the neck relief. And it's way high. So let's take a look down this. And that's a big old hole, maybe five mm. Let's try that. Nope, four. Gonna tighten this up a little bit. Should check that first. That again, I'm using a oops, upside down 12 thousandths feeler gauge 357. That's where we're gonna check it. Still way high. I don't know. <laughs> Old guitars, this baby's already tight. Check that. Well, I think it moved a little, so we'll keep going. Oops. And like some of that. Wrench slipping a little bit. It's uh, not much more I can tighten it, I think. Well, let's go a different route. a little more out of it. Okay, that turned it. I'll check it. Oh, that feels just about just right. Let's check over here. Oh, see, that's too tight on this side. That might indicate a twist in the neck. Let's hope not. I'm going to leave it there and see what it does. Okay, stay tuned. I'll be right back while I figure this out. Six sixty-fourths. I think you can't see that, but that's what it is. Six, five, barely five. Let's find out what it's going to sound like.
that's pretty good. Well, I did a little magic on the neck there to try to lower this side. I've come to about uh, best possible. Oops, wrong fret. Try that again. Oh, that's better. That's like perfect. <laughs> okay, that's just that's better. This side's still a tad low, but not too bad. Let's check it. See if a ten fits under there. Ten would be good. 12 it should be, but 10 will work. 10 is nice and low. Easy to play as long as we don't get fret buzz. It'll be great. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Actually, 11 will probably fit there. That's a little loose. So, that's perfect. All right. Now we're going to... Uh, open up the electronics here and find out why it's cutting out. So hang around. This is going to be fun. Okay, I thought I'd uh, one last screw here. And we'll have the big reveal what's inside. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to hold that little moon-shaped plate in. Where do they think it's going? <laughs> okay. No shielding whatsoever. And... Don't know if that's all original or not. That c it could very well be. Oh, oh that, that looks good. I'd say right there's the problem. Can you see that? I don't know if you can or not, but... That little wire from the capacitor, right there, that's less than a millimeter from the metal plate. I'd say we're getting some humidity grounding going on right there. We can fix that real quick. I'd like to fix that cat. Takes care of that. And the ground is a little loose. We're going to tighten that up. Third tight. feel good okay put the screws back in and we'll uh, plug it into the amp see if it fades anymore I think no that little wire on that tone pot there less than a millimeter from the metal plate I'm sure humidity was playing a factor there and it was a uh, as he played it starts to ground volume gets lower then it cuts out then it comes back kind of like static electricity except with humidity okay hang around okay guys and gals we're back everything's super clean chrome's polished lubricated the tuners lubricated the bridge adjusted the string height adjusted the action Gave a little tilt to the neck to compensate for the little twist in it. And uh, we took care of the electronics there. I, while you were gone, I used a little uh, cleaner lubricant on them. I don't know if you can hear that. A little hum going on there. That's from these uh, low grade, it's a kind of a low grade pot and there's no shielding whatsoever. So you're gonna get that. Uh, top it off 
you know, the uh, Philippines doesn't really have an electrical grounding system like the states. Uh, it's two prongs for power, neutral and hot, and then a third one for ground. You don't have that in the Philippines. Sounds good though. And the string height is spot on. And no buzz. Let's run down through it. We found the problem. Do a little extra cleaning right there. Yeah, you can only clean old chrome so much. It's old, it's old, but it still shines. Turn the tone down, and then you get rid of that buzz, but you lose your tone. for the Fernando Stingray. Thanks for joining me. Hey, don't forget to like my page, not to post. You can like post, of course, but like the page to qualify for the drawing coming up November 1st. That's not long away, right? You can share up to four posts a day, and I'll give you four entries for those four shares. Or you don't have to share anything. Just like the page, and you'll still be entered into the drawing. So, be cool, and whatever you do, be good to each other. We'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight while I did this Stingray bass. Don't forget to like the page and share posts, and you could be the next big winner. See you around. Be good to each other.